my new Tundra plans for this channel have changed, and I need your opinion. everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST and that's right I think my uh, my new Tundra plans for this channel have changed a bit and I would like your opinion I want to know what you honestly think but first let me tell you what what I'm talking about you know when I first started this channel I did it with the full intent of purchasing the 2022 Toyota Tundra and then I decided that since I think it's going to be extended before I could actually put my hands on one. In other words, I'm not going to be able to get run right away because of the shortages and everything else that's going on. So I bought the 2021 because I wanted a truck for the channel. I mean, what's a YouTube channel uh, without a truck on it, right? Now, I named this channel Rob Motive FST. Rob Motive full-size trucks. Now, the reason I did that is because I don't want to limit myself to just Tundras, although at the moment that is my plan, is to stick with Tundras primarily on the channel. And as I mentioned, it was my intent to go ahead and purchase the next-gen Tundra as soon as I could put my hands on one. You know, play with this one a little bit, the 2021, and then trade it off on the new Tundra. But, as you all know, there were some photos leaked of the new Tundra. And I've mentioned in a couple of videos that I'm not a fan. I don't like it. I, I don't want it. And, you know, as I've gotten back into the Tundra again, uh, particularly this one, the 2021, I got to say, I really like it. Uh, I'm starting to doubt whether I would want to get rid of it. And even before the new Tundra was revealed, I was kind of thinking, well, maybe I'll just keep this one and have both, you know, and kind of compare and contrast them on the channel. But, you know, that's really been uh, squelched, I guess, since the reveal or the, the leak of this new Tundra, both interior and exterior. There's honestly just nothing I like about the truck. So unless the real version comes out, or there is a different version that comes out, and Toyota has just been, bird almost flew right into my truck, one of those seagulls, that would have been bad. But unless the, you know, a real version, a different version comes out and it's completely different and looks better, both interior and exterior, um, I'm thinking it's it's not something that I'm going to jump on and I just keep the one that I have, continue doing mods and things to it, more uh, in-depth mods, more um, impactful mods, I guess, like a lift and new wheels and tires and suspension and, you know, things that I may not have done if I was just going to trade this truck in because most of the mods I've done so far are easily removed from this truck and then hopefully used on the next gen. That was my thinking. Whether they would fit or not, that was going to be part of the interest in it for me, honestly. So, what does that mean then? What does it mean for the channel? Well, it doesn't change things a whole lot. You know, we will have this Tundra on the channel because I love this truck. It's, it's awesome. Um, it's big, it's powerful, it's the last of the V8s, it gives me everything I want, and I really can't see getting rid of it uh, for anything else. But, this is Rob Motive FST, full-size trucks. So, my thinking is, is next year, it'll, it'll be a while. This isn't anything I'm going to do, at least not this year. Um, I would add something else. Something else that I can compare to the truck, since Toyota seems to have let us down on the, the next gen. And that would be something a little, probably, maybe even higher end. I haven't decided yet. What I'm thinking, on the low end, let's start with the low end. I could pick up a new F-150. I know, I said it, an F-150, right? And kind of compare and compra contrast that to this truck the 2021 Toyota Tundra. I think that might be kind of interesting to see what the differences are. Or, and 
this is what I'm, I'm really more leaning to, to be honest. Um, pick up a Ford Raptor. Uh, I like the Raptor. It, uh, supposedly, it's an awesome truck. I don't know. I've never had one. But it would be kind of cool. And this is a full-size truck channel. Um, to be able to see what that's like. And again, in comparison to this Tundra. I mean, is the Raptor really more powerful? Is it worth the money? Is there really that big of a difference between it and this truck? I can't imagine that there is. This thing is powerful. How much more powerful can the Raptor be? I don't know. I got to believe the suspension is nowhere near as good. Technology? Who knows? There's all kinds of things to look at. And then beyond that is the TRX. Uh, that truck is a beast. I, uh, I kind of put it in one video a little while back when I was at the dealership, um, having looking around rather at, uh, at some of the trucks that they had. And man, I got to tell you, at least looks wise, that is a very impressive truck. Definitely something that piqued my interest when I saw it. So I'm a little bit up in the air. I'm not even ruling out the possibility of picking up uh, some version of the Ram truck. Um, I looked at the Chevy Silverado and I gotta say, and I'm not comparing this to the new Tundra in any way, but I had that same down feeling, you know, when I looked at the Chevy Silverado as a possible uh, full-size truck to bring on the channel, uh, as I do when I see the new Toyota Tundra. Now, which is kind of ironic because, I mean, it's a GM, right? And a lot of people have compared, at least looks wise, what the new that the new Tundra looks similar to the GMC. So maybe that was a little bit of uh, foreshadowing for me. Maybe that was uh, a little hint uh, as to what this new Tundra was going to look like. I don't know, feeling wise, uh, and maybe some some looks uh, as well. So. That's kind of what I'm planning, but I need your opinion. You guys are the ones that watch the channel, so I'm curious as to what you think. You know, do I go ahead, bite the bullet, buy the new Toyota Tundra no matter what, even if I hate it? Or do I keep what I have, continue to work on it, add things to it, lift it, make it better, maybe even supercharge it down the road? Who knows? The possibilities are limitless on this truck. And... What about a different full-size truck to compare to this? Again, not replacing this. I think there probably will always be a full-size or a Toyota Tundra, rather, on this channel because I really do love the Tundra. I've had other full-size trucks, two F-150s, a Ram Rebel. Uh, I drove a full-size Chevy in high school. Granted, that was two or three years ago. But I do have experience with other full-size trucks, and I gotta say, none of them have measured up to what this truck, the Toyota Tundra, is. So there will always be a Toyota Tundra on this channel. I'm hoping that it's going to be a redesigned Tundra, uh, but we shall see. Anyway, leave a comment. Give me your opinion. Let me know what you think. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay curious out there.